Hi everyone, it's Irit and this is the fourth layout that I made with the Scraptastic Lost in My Mind kit. This is one of the March kits and this month I got the main kit, the add-on, one of the stamp sets and the pattern paper add-on and for this layout I used a couple of things from my stash um, like the um, plus one project life mini kit I used a couple of the cards and I think some embellishments but most of the things or almost everything is from the kit and um, in this layout I chose a papers that came in the add-on so I think the final look is very different from the first three layouts that I made with this kit where I used mostly products from the main kit. So that's also a nice thing about the kit that y you have a very limited uh, supply of like very limited amount of products but you can still get very different looks. So that's one of the things I like about these kits. I was feeling kind of uninspired and I surfed a bit uh, which is always dangerous because <laughs> you start surfing and then you know two hours <laughs> just fly by um, but no I wasn't that bad I managed to actually also scrapbook uh, but I saw this lovely page from I hope I'm pronouncing her name right Stephanie Byron or Brian I think Brian uh, anyway she's on the crate paper design team uh, and also uh, garden girl at two piece but this page I saw on the crate paper blog and I practically scrap lifted like the whole design so I'll put a link to the to her layout um, this is not my design <laughs> at all but um, I think you can see how nice it is that with different supplies uh, you get a different look and you know, when this page is in my album, I probably, uh, I, you know, I don't care at all if I scrap lift something. I, there's like so much great inspiration out there and such great designers. It's like, I'm happy to do it. It goes in my own private album. I'm not, um, you know, trying to get on a design team and saying it's my own design. I'm mean, not at all. So, um, I'm not taking any credit. <laughs> this is, just to make that perfectly clear. Okay, so back to the page. Um, I chose this lovely cardstock. It's a light pink and it's very beautiful. And then I also took a piece of this gorgeous paper that came in the add-on. It's from the Sprinkled with Love collection from Webster's Pages by Alison Kraft and it has these cute paper airplanes on one side and the other side is this lovely circle type of bokeh um, uh, look and it's just such a beautiful paper I'm really, I really wanted to use it and from then on basically I, I went for a very soft color scheme um, I didn't use, I don't think I used any of the um, of the plus one papers because the colors there are so bright so I used and I wanted to use uh, a, a lot of white and also that nice uh, transparency that we got with the add-on kit which is also from Webster's pages if I'm not mistaken from the same collection the Sprinkled with Love collection and it's this transparency with these very cute uh, white hearts and I liked that um, layered look. That's what I was going for. That's how the um, the original page that I scrap lifted also had like these lots of layers. I cut a few strips from the basic gray uh, pattern paper that came in the main kit. It's from the Fresh Cut collection and it has a very colorful print on one side and a pink pattern on the other side and I cut out strips and then in the strips I cut out the parts that 
fit my color scheme. This paper has a lot of color, but I only wanted those shades of uh, pink and peach and orange and maybe a touch of light green, but it also has this dark green and I cut it out completely. I, I didn't want that on my page. And I also used uh, the Bella Boulevard paper that came in the main kit. It has the bright pink on pink stars, like tone on tone star pattern. And the other side is this lovely uh, script uh, font of the days of the week in light gray uh, and the background is white and that really fit the whole um, like color scheme and atmosphere that I was going for. I also took a couple of papers from the 6x6 uh, plus one paper pad. This is from my own stash. It did not come with the kit. I think I used a very small piece at the end and I went with that collection has very bright colors but it also has quite a few patterns or at least the 6x6 pad has quite a few pa patterns in this very nice neutral gray like a light gray so I used that on this layout then I added a couple of uh, some more strips of paper to the bottom and the top of the page and next it was time for the embellishments um, in the kit there were not a lot of things that went uh, with my color scheme. I used one flare button um, that didn't come with the kit. This is from the plus one uh, flare buttons, the Amy Tan collection, and it's from my stash. And it's a gray um, flare button with a heart. And then I really wanted to use the love um, word from the thickers that came with the add-on, but this was just so wrong for this page, that bold black. It's, it was very clear that it's not gonna look good. So um, I went in a different direction. I did use a couple of the exclusive die cuts uh, that come with the kit every month. There's like a few of these tabs cut from white cardstock and I ended up using, I think one is from the previous month's kit it says fabulous and then eventually I used a second one uh, that says um, oh hello that's what it says and <laughs> this is from uh, this month and what I like about them is besides the fact that they were white and went really nice with the page is this texture that they give and because I didn't adhere them directly to the background, you get this, you know, this light um, shadow that they cast, and it's just, it's a very um, pretty look. I wanted a few more layers, so I went through the Plus One Project Life Mini Kit, and I picked out a few cards that had um, some orange in them, and a couple ones that had a white and gray pattern and on one of the cards it said happy so I cut that out and adhered it uh, next to the photo and I used a few strips from those uh, gray and white cards um, just to add a couple more layers behind the photo and then it was time for my favorite part the puffy sticker part um, so I used one puffy sticker from the plus one uh, sticker sheet that came with the add-on and another one from my stash and then I started the stamping saga of uh, choosing the right shade of ink. I wanted to use that super cute camera stamp that came with the Scraptastic stamp set uh, and I wanted to, to add it to the edges of the of the layout and I really wanted to go for a very very light shade so I was searching for the best match to the color scheme and the pattern paper and eventually I went with that beautiful uh, Avery L pigment ink the shade is called Orchid and it's this lovely um, pink with 
a slight uh, purple to it um, so like a cooler pink it's very very pretty and I think it's pretty much exactly the same like the cardstock so a really beautiful shade and but of course I tried also like five other different uh, inks but they were all too bright um, or not the right shade so eventually I just used two uh, cameras, stamped cameras, one at the bottom of the page and one at the top and the photo I'm using here is just a really pretty photo of my daughter there's not a lot to it, it's just we had this fun morning one weekend and I already scrapbooked a few of the photos and talked about where we were and what we did and I just wanted I kept saving this particular photo to the I don't know most special <laughs> scrapbooking supplies I had or whatever some something like that and I didn't scrap it and I didn't scrap it and uh, I decided to go for it it's just such a beautiful photo and I really wanted it in my album so that's it for this page. Here are some still shots of the finished layout. Uh, I did add a little bit of uh, glitter with the Wink of Stella um, glitter pen uh, just to the happy and to the fabulous at the top but I, I don't think you can see it in the photos. Um, it looks very nice in real life. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you next time. Bye!